Hi everyone, this is a walkthrough for Speed Kills by Bill Murphy. This will be gas at some point, possibly February 27th, possibly later. Um, I'm recording this ahead of time, so we'll see. But this is a Fortress Quads Sudoku. So normal Sudoku rules apply, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box. We have some circles. And the digits that appear in the circles must appear in one of the four surrounding cells. All of these circles have four digits. Some of them have duplicates. So we need to place two threes and two fours in these four cells. And then the gray cells are fortress cells, and they have to be bigger than any adjacent white cells. So in this case, all of the adjacent cells are white. We don't have any gray cells next to each other, so we don't have to worry about that part. But those are the rules, and let's get started with these quads and fortresses. So these two digits must be greater than these two digits. The only way of making that work is to have the largest two digits and the smallest two digits. If we tried to put a 7 here, say, and an 8 here, well now we have 7 is bigger than 8 in one of these cells. So that doesn't work. Now the doubled quads are even easier. Four is bigger than three, so four has to go in the fortress cells and three has to go in the uh, white cells. Uh, same sort of thing here. The two bigger digits are in the fortress, smaller digits are in the white cells. Now we're just going to keep doing this through the puzzle. So both of those were doubles. This is another double. Just putting the bigger digit in the gray cell. These are 6 and 9, and these are 1 and 3. These are 8 and 9, and these are 1 and 6. All right, now we need to look for where we can clean this up. And 6 here gives us 1 and 6. The 6 there gives us 9 and 6, and that 6 gives us 1 and 6 here. 3 and 1 here. I don't think we can resolve the 8, 9, 7, 8, or this top one quite yet. Uh, we can think about what digits we have left to place. So in this box, we need 1, 2, and 6. 6 is here, but it's also not less than 4, so it couldn't go there anyway. This can't be 1. In fact, the only digit that can go here, which is less than four, is two, because we already have one and three in the row. So that two is going to give us a six, and we need a one, two pair in the box. Eight or nine is bigger than six, so that doesn't tell us anything there. These are two, three, and seven. This is not three, but this also has to be less than five, so this is our two. This also has to be less than five. It's not one or four. And it's not three in the box, so that's a two. All right, in this row, this is probably not the best order to do things in, but it's what I saw. We need three, six, seven, and eight. Three of those are here. So this is our six. Three, seven, eight. That one's not three. These are going to be five and nine in some order, and the six tells us this must be five to be less than the six. Now the nine is going to give us eight and nine. Here we need 4, 7, and 8 in some, in some order. That one's not 4, that gives us a 7, 8 pair in this column, and so we have 3 and 4 here. It's not 4. 7, 8 also looks up here to give us 9 and 8, and 5 and 7. So we just have these left, and that 8 that we just placed resolves them. So we've got all the gray cells filled and all the quad clues completed. We're not quite done with the variant because the white cells that are next to gray cells are limited some. So uh, this one has to be less than five, can't be one or four, so it's two or three. And this one can be one, two, or three. This one cannot be one, two, or three, so it's four or five. 
these both have to be less than four and not three, so they're a one, two pair. That's going to leave five, six, and nine here. There's a six, and five and nine are placed by this nine. So we're left with one, two, three in the row, one and two here, give a three. That's not three. We have one, two, three, four in this row. The four here rules it out of there. So this is the only place for four in the row. And we could also have looked at, at the box. Uh, so this is also one, two, or three. That gives us all the one, two, threes in that box. We need seven and eight here. These are one, two, and five. And this has to be five. That's one, two. It gives us another one, two pair. So this is five and seven. This one has to be the five, seven. This is three, seven. This is eight, seven, eight. This is four, five. This is also four or five, but it's not five. So five, four, five. Or four, five, four. Whatever order I did that in. Three and nine in this box. Uh, this has to be less than seven, but it's going to be regardless. Um, but looking at the column and at the row, the only digit we are missing is one. So it's one, two, one. These are three and four. We have a four here. So three, four, two, one, three. Down here, we still need one and two. This one is going to resolve two, one, two, one, two, one. These are five, seven, and nine. Figure out the order looking down the columns. And finally, two, six, and eight. Eight, six, two. And that is how you solve speed kills. Hope you found that okay. Let us know how you did in the comments.